All right, this is my live OAND uh, trading account. If you look up in the up hand, upper left hand corner of the screen, you see that it's live, and you see that I got like nineteen dollars in there. Uh, what I saw was, let me pause it. Back it up, if possible. Okay, what I saw here was a double bottom reversal pattern. A double bottom reversal pattern is this. Oh, you had your initial downtrend, which was a series of high, lower highs and lower lows then you had an equal high then you had an equal low these two lows right here form your support line this high right here forms your resistance line what you would do when it comes to a double bottom reversal pattern is wait for a break of resistance like you see right here with the break up above this red line, this resistance line, then a pull back to this red line, this resistance line, then a close above this red line, this resistance line, like you see, then you would enter the trade. Um, I got in the trade kind of late, but that's cool. I ended up making a 13 cents profit, as you all would see, will see after a while. Um, my target price, you all will see that too. I'm gonna let it play now. Okay. I'm not gonna record the whole thing. Fast for a little bit. Okay, so. I bought 600 units of AUDCAD. And that's what I want to see. It's kind of shady. I set my target price at 0 0.88748. And as you can see from the reap, from the, uh, Recording. I recorded this with the iPhone from the Android. Forgot the password to the laptop, so I got to call HP and pay them to, you know, reset it for me, whatever. But let's fast forward. I okay, remember take profit. I ended up seeing that there was an uptrend for me, so I drew an uptrend in line. That's me setting my stop loss and whatnot, so the trade goes in the opposite direction. I won't lose much. A price pull back to form a higher high. That's an uptrend. A low, a high, a higher low, a higher high, and a higher low. Buyers are coming into the market. Okay, let me fast for a little bit more. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. You see that red candle? Let me pause it. You see this red candle that was formed right here above this unit box? I'm looking for a green candle to close above it. That signifies that the uptrend continues. I'm gonna fast forward it. And as you see, that was a close. Wait on it. I saw it forming, so I started subtracting this high here in the uptrend from that low there in the uptrend so that I could add them to 
with an amber candle that would close above this red candle here at the bottom near this 600 unit box. I got I entered another trade by the way. You see you see it? That's the green that's the green candle that I was looking for. It closed above the high of the low day, which is this candle right here. That's right here, the tail sticking down in this 600 unit box. I entered for 300 lots. I didn't have, I had uh, 600 units already bought, so I had to wait for them to sell if I wanted to end it for six because I didn't have it. I just entered for three. Now we're going to fast forward. Pay attention to the price action. Remember, I was looking at a 13 cents profit. See, I entered the 300 units. Okay, pardon me, pause. Hold on, hold on, let me go back. Let me go back a little bit more. All right, if you look at the top of the screen, you will see take profit target. You have two new alerts. Uh, so it was 0.88 something. Y'all got to go back to tell me what it 0.88. Let me see what was it 0.88 what? Something. Okay. Talk, take profit was point eight eight seven four eight. So Point eight eight seven four eight. You look at the top, you see point eight eight seven seven zero. It hit my target price. I made a profit of thirteen cents on that trade.